and welcome back everyone today we're gonna to be playing a new game in the Metal Gear series we're gonna be playing well it's not really new but you, you know what I mean we're gonna be playing Metal Gear Solid the Twin Snakes some people don't like this version I think it's great I think it's better than the original he said it So we're going to be playing on normal or very easy. Mm, not normal. Hey there, Rizzer. How you doing? You're a hard gamer. I'm terrible at stealth games though. Uh, ah. mm. All right, let's do hard. I don't, I don't want to do hard, but whatever. Hey, thanks, Demi. Time for Metal Gear. Time to use my snake voice. So good. I can't wait to die in the first area over and over. The worst part is. Back in the old days when they used to do PS1 demos, I remember doing the demo for Metal Gear 1 quite often because it was so good. Stay alert. He'll be through here. I know it. I'm going to swap down a couple of bothersome flies. Yeah, basically Twin Snakes is... Metal Gear 1, uh, Metal Gear Solid is what actually happened and Twin Snakes is what someone else who... like talks about it. It's more... It's more far-fetched, more legendary. I thought the game crashed. I was like, oh no. This is Snake. Colonel, can you hear me? Loud and clear. What's the situation, Snake? Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. You'll have to take the elevator to the surface, but make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. Remember this, when boys. You use the codec, push the pause button, and then the A button. When we need to contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the pause button and then the A button to receive the call. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. No one but you will be able to hear it. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. Colonel, don't stimulate my bone. Hey, thanks, Notorious. All right, man, Metal Gear. Solid, it's been a while since I played this. I remember there's a passion down here and there's other stuff. Get some air. An RP sensor. What does that do? 
text life forms. Right. And they're Freeport. Colonel, I can't climb the stairs. Let's start. Snake, you can climb on. Oh, thank you. About waste <laughs> by pressing the action button. This might come in handy. That's what I said. I mean, I don't want to. I didn't want to play on hard. Shake down people, right? Like, I'm very screwed, let's be honest here. Who is that? Enemy sighted, requesting back. Ah, uh, just fucking kill me. Oh, I hate stealth games. I should have played on normal. I knew it. Snake. What happened? Snake! Snake! All right, let's be better. Hopefully. <laughs> Redo the intro. No. Hmm. 
Snake, you'll have to crawl to get through there. First, crouch down by pressing the crawl button, and then press the control stick in the direction you want to crawl. Just remember that you can't move very fast when you're crawling. You can stand up by pressing the crawl button again. Who's there? Who is there? Okay, the elevator's back. And there's another guard. Huh? Who's there? <sighs> no! Okay, I got a plan. It's uh, crawling my way in. No, no. I remember you, you could grab. Yeah, elevator doesn't work on alert, I forgot. Oh, we're going to die a lot. Don't you worry. Don't you know how to play? No. There is no box. Not yet. Yeah, we're playing on hard mode because chat said that uh, normal would be too easy. I'm glad we're going to be here for two hours though. Mr. Anderson, how you doing? Thank you. 
You can use the radar to see the enemy's line of sight. Thank you. But you know they see further than that, right? We made it, boys. Took 15 hours. Man, he's so metal. Title drop. Big boss is blonde. That was Liquid Snake, by the way. You're feeling a little rough. <coughs> it's been a while, but it's all coming back to me. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide snake. All of the genome soldiers in this exercise are using it. I see. I'm relieved to hear that. Already tested, huh? By the way, how's the diversionary operation going? Two F-16s just took off from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. A Hein D. Hein D. Colonel, what's a Russian gunship doing here? I have no idea. But it looks like our little diversion got their attention. Why is it always a hind D though? We fought a high we fought a hind D in Metal Gear 2, right? That Metal Gear 1. Now's your best chance to slip in unnoticed. hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, he must be crazy to fly hind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. We're going to call her often. She's our visual and data processing specialist. She designed your codec, as well as your Soliton radar system. Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so... cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. What's this? I'm being hit on by the famous Solid Snake? But I'm surprised. I... I didn't think you'd be so frank. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. It does, doesn't it? Well, let's get to know each other better. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. 
The bright dot in the middle is you, Snake. The red dots are your enemies, <gasps> and the blue cone shape That's what it is. the field of vision. Be careful, Snake. The genome soldiers have highly developed senses of hearing and vision due to their gene therapy. Make sure you don't let them see you. First, I want you to infiltrate the disposal site and look for the DARPA chief. The DARPA chief was injected with the same GPS transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Hey, thanks, Yasha Bay. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. You won't be able to use it in an area with strong harmonic resonance, so be careful. We'll be monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake. We're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. I'm also in charge of your mission data. Contact me if you want me to save your current status. My frequency is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your binoculars, you need to arm yourself with whatever weapons you can find. I remember. First, I'm strip searched by Dr. Naomi here. And then all my weapons are taken away. Imagine yourself put in that position. Well, if you make it back in one piece, maybe I'll let you do a strip search on me. Zam! that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? You never know. If you want to get in, there's the front door. It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. Yeah, I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. What about the air duct near the door? Mm, one sentry on the left and one on the right. Oh, I'm sure they won't spot me. And pineapples. There should also be a duct on the second floor. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm Course of action. Snake. Any rules for this? We're playing on hard. The rule is not die. You called Snake? I think it, you missed out on the uh, the first uh, 10 minutes. Oh, okay, sorry. No, I just wanted to Careful, talk. Snake. I remember there's something in the middle. Yeah. The item, all right. Oh, it's right there. No, it's not there because I think there's a, a vent there. Is this a no stealth run? Yes.
Oh, we can soak on these. Save. A surveillance camera. I think I got to throw chaff. We got our stuff. Throw chat if only. What's up, Snake? Now, I, I don't think there's anything else. There might be a ration somewhere, but I'm not sure. Shakespeare said, Nots had all spent where our desire is got without content. Basically, it means that your desire can get you into trouble if you're not careful. That goes for items too. Don't get too greedy or you might be sorry. Be careful, Snake. <laughs> is that a chocolate or bean ration? I mean... Okay, let's uh let's scope out our uh that's what you gotta do on on these difficulties. You can't just go willy nilly. The guy here he's sleeping. Kinda. There's a way to grab, but I don't remember. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, like I just got punched in the face. tank a metal tank if only we were a tank buster but unfortunately uh oh I think we took the wrong vent Oh no, there was other uh rats. Snake, this is McDonald Miller. It's Miller! It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? Master Miller! I quit being a boot camp instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while I still help train the Alaskan scouts. Passing on the skills to a new generation, huh? Campbell told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well, I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you. So call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. Please tell me to do my best. Mice are Alaskan field mice. <laughs> Don't worry, they can't hurt you. 
Wild field mice don't have a thick layer of fat, but they can still survive the bitter winters here without hibernating. They dig tunnels under the snow, and that's where they stay warm. Survival specialists, huh? I should learn from them. But there's a dark side, too. Sometimes the males will kill and eat <gasps> offspring that are not their own. To ensure the survival of their own genes, right? Yeah. Pretty brilliant program, huh? If there are mice, that means there must be an exit somewhere. Follow the mice. Let's go. Almost drowned in the vents. Ah, that might be a reference. You might be right. Don't imagine the game over. Better save. This is gonna be a 2000 save run. Don't give up, Snake. What about Master? What does he have to say? Those mice are Alaskan field mice. <laughs> Don't worry, they can't hurt you. No time. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. Elevators can go up and down, presumably. That's what Big Elevator wants you to know. Thing. The enemies will hear us when we punch the elevator, I know, but it's the price we gotta pay. Grand old time, ducking and weaving on normal. Now, now I gotta play real stealth games. Are stealth games actually bad? Yes. Some people say that they're good. 
but they are very wrong. like a snake. Quickly! Is there somebody there? We made it. If you want to go up or down a ladder, just press the action button by the ladder. Approach the ladder and press the action button. Approach the ladder. How do we climb the ladder? Oh. Isn't there a peeping scene in this? guy with the kind of damn cold I hate Alaska I think that's Johnny boy oh boy that woman is built all right Woman, huh? Wait, I look down. Do it, Quint. You know you want to. Chief. 
that upper body strength. Who, who's that? I'm here to save you. You're the DARPA chief, Donald Anderson, right? You're here to save me, huh? What's your outfit? I'm the pawn they sent in here to save your worthless butt. Really? It's true. You don't look like one of them. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. Slow down. I got caught 20 times before getting here. The terrorists? Do they really have the ability to launch a nuke? What are you talking about? The terrorists are threatening the White House. They say if they don't accede to their demands, they'll launch a nuclear weapon. <sighs> Sweet Jesus. Is it possible? It's possible. They could launch a nuke. How do they plan to launch? I thought this place was just for the keeping of dismantled warheads. They shouldn't have access to a missile. That's the official story. Got it. We were conducting exercises with a new type of experimental weapon. A truly historical weapon. What? A weapon with the ability to launch a nuclear attack from any place on the face of the Earth. A nuclear-equipped walking battle tank. Metal Gear. It can't be. Can't be. You knew? Metal Gear is one of the most secret black projects. How did you know that? We've had a couple of run-ins in the past. So that's the reason you were here at this disposal site? Why else would I come to a godforsaken place like this? I had heard that the Metal Gear project was scrapped. On the contrary, it's grown into a huge joint project between arms tech and ourselves. We were going to use this exercise as raw data and then proceed to mass production. If it hadn't been for the revolution. Revolution? Rex has fallen into the hands of terrorists. Rex? My dog. Metal Gear Rex. Oh. The code name for the new Metal Gear prototype. They've probably already finished arming the warhead they plan to use with Rex. These guys are pros. They're all experienced in handling and equipping nuclear weapons. Hey! Shut up in there, will ya? Hey! What you gonna do about it? This is why we're playing Twin Snakes. Because of these moments. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. Some kind of detonation code that you have to input. Oh, you mean PAL. That's the European course, region. There is a PAL. It's set up so that you need to input two different passwords in order to launch the device. There are two passwords? Yes. Baker knows one, and I know one. Baker? The president of Arms Tech? That's right. Each of us needs to input our password, or there can be no launch. But... <laughs> they found out my password. You talked? Psycho Mantis can read people's minds. You can't resist. Psycho Mantis? One of the members of Foxhound. He has psychic powers. This is bad. 
It's just a matter of time before they get Baker's too. If they find out Baker's password... Yes. They'll be able to launch a nuke any time. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Oh no, not card keys again. They were designed by Arms Tech, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the passwords, you can just insert the card keys and engage the safety lock. And if I do that? Yes, you can stop the launch. That card key. So where are the card keys? Baker should have them. Listen, you need three card keys. There are three different slots to put them in. You need to insert a card into each one of them. Okay, three card keys. Do you know where they might be keeping Baker? Somewhere in the second floor basement. Second floor basement? I heard the guard. I remember the basement being area that really ass. Electronic jamming. Any other clues? Yes. They cemented over the entrances, but didn't have enough time to paint them. Why don't you look for the areas where the walls are a different color? Here, take this. It's my ID card. It'll open any level one security door. Why would he only have level one clearance? It's called a pan card. It works together with your body's own electrical field. Personal area network, huh? It transmits data using the salts in your body as a transmission medium. As you approach the door security devices, they'll read the <laughs> card. A bread key. Automatically. Gotcha. Okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. What is it? You haven't heard any other way to disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? No. Are you sure you haven't heard anything? I just said no. So, does the White House plan to give in to the terrorist demands? That's their problem. It has nothing to do with my orders. But, what about the Pentagon? Pentagon? <laughs> Dead. Huh. Dead. I don't know if you can feel pulse through gloves. Chief, what happened? I, uh, I don't know. She knows. It looked like a heart attack, but a heart attack? No, Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not, Snake. You've got to understand. This counter-terrorist op is security level red. You'll need the highest security clearance to learn the real story. You want me to believe that you're in charge of this op, but you don't have complete access to the file? I told you, the Secretary of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake, we don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find President Baker. Gotta go find the president.
Whoa. Don't move. So you killed the chief, you bastard. Liquid? No, you're not. Don't move. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a person? Your hands are shaking. <gasps> oh. All this trick in the book. Oh. <laughs> Not the backwards gun. Careful. I'm no rookie. Liar. Your eyes wander. There's no confidence in them. The eyes of a rookie. You've never shot a person, have you? You talk too much. You haven't even taken the safety off, rookie. I told you I'm no rookie. You're not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a card, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Like be a little delayed. Uh. What? What are you doing? Don't think. Shoot. I don't even know how to shoot. Uh. on hard mode snake are you okay snake snake He left the room. Wasn't there a choke? There is no reload. There's What are you waiting for? Shoot. Don't talk to me like a rookie. I'm telling you, shoot. Snake. What happened? Snake! Snake! So, so what's the plan here? What am I supposed to do? So we don't have enough bullets to kill them all. Can't you aim? 
if I can. I Not that I know how to do it. Two shoulder buttons are the items. Say to aim and fire, yeah, that's what we do. That's the scope. Maybe we should have picked up some bullets along the way. to aim in first person. there. here. Oh, 
Snake, are you okay? Snake, Snake is not okay. Snake! The both both do, do this and both do that there is no there is no aim button i don't know what you guys are talking about z and a Okay, so that's my Z button. We're gonna change that real quick. Snake, are you okay? Snake! Snake! Put it on hard. Got it. I think we got it. Oh. 
Someone's dropping something. Thanks for the help. Wait! It's flat as a board. Who are you? What? Who that? Get that detonation code. Boss, I have a good idea. How are we seeing this? It's because of Psychomantis. What, why are you sh holding your gun like that? just had some kind of hallucination. Is it from the nanomachines? No, Snake. The nanomachines are functioning properly. So what was it? It must have been psychometric interference coming from Psychomantis, Foxhound Psychic. Think of it as a mental feedback loop. So, that was Mantis. I think rations on normal heal to full while on hard heal to like a quarter. I feel like we missed out on some items because we were hiding in the corner. But we got less damage, so... Level 6. You should have an M9. Well, I don't. <laughs> like this wasn't really a hard section uh, so I'm, I'm very worried about the future before you tell the crocodile he has bad breath do you know what that means it means that the wise man avoids danger first Use your brain to avoid traps and stay away from the enemy.
Hey, thanks, sugar. Lucky's an affiliate now. I've been an affiliate for like eight years. <gasps> oh yeah, there was fake floors. I remember that. Grenades. You're gonna need that for a certain fight. fake wall somewhere. I think it's around here. Is it not here? Yeah, it's right there. I can barely see it. Alright, how does C4 work again? Must A to set and B to detonate. was there how am I feeling I'm getting angry you know me <gasps> Ration. ratione I wonder if I can shoot that No. 
I didn't want to go there. God damn it. Ugh, now I got to do the fight with one ration. C4. Uh oh. <laughs> As one does when dodging a bullet. Who's that guy? So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. Revolver. Oh, okay. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. <gasps> Six bullets, more than enough to kill anything that moves. Handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than a yeah! You said the line. Now I'll show you why they call me. Revolver. And I'll show you why they call me Snake. Unzips pants. <laughs> I like how we have a bullet counter. Muzzle velocity or its caliber. Ow. I love to reload during a battle. All right. I'm going to die again. Yep. Let's go. Ah! Ah! Oh, no. Gaming sucks ass. I love to reload during a battle. What are you doing, Snake? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and the little ricochets. Hiding won't help you. A 
gun's power isn't in its muzzle velocity or its caliber. Ah! I'm running that out. I'm running after you. Got him. Hmm. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. It's been a long time since I had such a good fight, but I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, look at this. Oh, he got disarmed. Watch my hand. Ah! What is going on? Oh, I just remember the ninja boss is gonna be so bad on hard. Stealth camouflage. Can't you even die right? Right. Lucky 1x, actually. Who are you? I like you. I have no name. That... that... Exo skeleton. break sounds. What? <laughs> Let me just, uh, cut a piece of the ceiling here. Is this gun foo? Why would he stop? Damn, that was slick. Bye. Who the hell? No, this is a serious game, Mike.
The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... I talked. What? Now no. the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kinda like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> oh, it looks like he had some fun with you, all right. He's not human. I tell you, he loved every second of it. What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Uh, you're a funny guy. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Dead. What? It, it can't be. No, that's not what you promised, Jim. Now you want to shut me up? Ah. Calm down. What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. A heart attack or something. Heart attack. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool. Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane. They wouldn't hesitate to launch. I agree, but what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. <gasps> well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Got the card keys? To override the detonation code, I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that 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 woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier. She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit. Could that be the colonel's niece? <gasps> I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... It's... It's behind the box. Huh? Oh, sorry. I forgot. What? Damn. <laughs> oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. So let's go look up our genuine contact her right away. twin snake tell me, package. This doesn't work. Is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Oh. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? 
the, the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A uh, genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the nuclear warhead storage building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real <gasps> than ever before. What? The realist? The amount of spent nuclear fuel in plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see, because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Damn, those bureaucrats. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, several pounds of muff <laughs> every year. Several pounds of what? It stands for material <laughs> for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. Oh. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. What could it be? Metal Gear. Metal Gear. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. Peace? Ate it. hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Uh, secret projects paid for by the Pentagon. <laughs> yes, a dumb robot equals a nuke. No, Mike, you fool. Great lead time on your Metal Gear is a mobile no tank that can fire nukes bunch on the military oversight committee he doesn't understand the lore everyone laugh point and laugh anyway metal gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed i don't give a crap about you or your company yes that's about what i'd expect from a grunt like you here, this is what you came for, right? Oh, nice. What's that? An optical disc. An optical disc. <laughs> it's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this disc exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. Delete Your my browser card. history. Quickly. I'll give you my card too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. You go on without me. Oh, they got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that ninja? 
That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... Uh-oh. What? what did you do to me? Uh, oh, no. So they, they, they actually went and did it. Absolute madmen. What are you talking about? They, 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 they're just using you for... for uh, 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 uh. He's dead. What the hell is going on? Listening? Now he's dead too. I have no idea. Don't lie to me. It looked like another heart attack, but some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Merrill to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. <gasps> Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake. I'm counting on you. <laughs> if we can't trust the Colonel, then we can't trust him when he tells us to trust Meryl. You're right. What Kojima doesn't want you to know. Oh, we controller died. <laughs> it was so action packed. It got hit by the virus, it got a heart attack. There's. We can't trust anyone. Well, we can trust chat, right? Right? Be careful, Snake. The GameCube controller with batteries? Yeah. Don't you have a, um, what's it called? Wavebird? That's what I had. Flexing on these. Gonna get my soakum. I wonder if. What's so calm? So calm these. Think, you think I'm a child? Immature like that? Level six door. Is that a 
full wall. It's my last C4. Well, that was useless. Just managed to get hurt more than anything else. I think there's more bullets there. No, I think that was for the M9, which I didn't pick up. Who is that? Enemy sighted. Request. Clear. Move. Mm -hmm. No, don't move. Grenade. Oh, I'm dead. here got the mo disc so my plan is die a lot but not use rations only use rations for bosses Shake down the old man. No? Okay. We never found the M9. Uh-oh. 
it's just me, the box. We better save now that we have the box. What's up, Snake? How's it going, Snake? Have you gotten used to the radar yet? Yeah, it's a great system. Not only can I read the topography, but I can monitor the movement of the bad guys, too. Pretty convenient, huh? It also makes it easy for us to see everything that you're doing. Uh-oh. everything? Of course. If you were my boyfriend, you'd <sighs> never be able to cheat on me. Mm, being monitored 24 hours a day, that'd be like hell. Don't think of it like that. At least you'd never get lost. What do they mean by this? Okay. Looks all clear. Why do you stupid elevator? Soul comms. So what's the plan here? Oh yeah, I gotta I gotta call Merle. Merle? Oh, what's her number? I think it's this. Uh Master Miller. First the DARPA chief, and then President Baker die of a heart attack? Yeah. Smells pretty rotten to me. Master, do you know anything? No. But there's definitely something going on. Keep your eyes open out there. Thank you, Master Miller. I think it's 120. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, it's not that. Shit. Uh, what was it again? People who have that was Master Miller and survived develop a kind of sixth sense to warn them of danger. Trust your instincts as a soldier, <gasps> as, as a, a gamer. gamer. Wasn't it this? I could be wrong. Alright, don't remember. Some chaff G's. Oh, stupid, stupid 
cigs. Yeah, the codec number is behind the CD case. Actually, I do have my CD case, but not on me right now. I, I lent it to a friend, you understand. My friend's holding it for me. That soak on bullets. Is there somebody there? Was there a noise just now? Huh? Who's there? Oh, no. My ass. I feel like the enemies see further, a lot further, on hard mode. The right code? Let's find out. 4112? Wrong. You was wrong. Merrill. Merle. One forty fifty. It was fifty. Huh. 
Who are you? I was really impressed with the way you busted yourself out of there. The one from the prison? You're the colonel's niece. Meryl, right? No, it's not him. Just exactly who are you? Hmm. I'm the fool that your uncle sent to this hellhole. That's right, Callum. Trying to be some kind of hero? I don't need lectures. You're just like your uncle, you know? How do you know my uncle? We go way back. What's your name? My name's not important. Aha. Uh -huh. Could you be Snake? <clears throat> Are you Solid Snake? That's what some people called me. The legendary Solid Snake? You? Uh, sorry about before. I wasn't sure if you were one of the good guys. But I knew you were. How? It's your eyes. My eyes? They're not soldiers' eyes. They're rookies' eyes, right? No. They're beautiful, compassionate eyes. Just what I'd expect from the legendary Solid Snake. You trying to sweep me off my feet? Don't worry. You'll land back on them once you meet me. The reality is no match for the legend, I'm afraid. I don't believe that. Why did you look so surprised when you saw my face? Because you look just like him. You mean the terrorist leader, Liquid Snake? Yeah. You know him? You're not brothers, are you? I have no family. So what's the deal then? I don't know. Maybe I'll ask him personally. But first, I want some information. You were involved in this exercise from the beginning. What exactly happened here? I just joined the training that same day. That's okay. But what is this place? I don't think it's just a nuclear weapon disposal facility. Boy, oh boy. It's just like them. Nobody's told you anything, did they? Okay. You see, this place isn't really for disposing nuclear weapons. What? This base is owned and operated by a dummy corporation of arms tech. This is a civilian base? Right. For the development of Metal Gear. Colonel. Colonel. Foxhound and the next generation special forces. That's right, it's the muff. The test launching of a dummy nuclear warhead. Why Foxhound? Because they're a special ops group used to handling top secret missions. They figured they could help keep it all hush hush. But they must have been test firing dummy warheads for a while. Why just this time? I heard it was because low the IQ warheads before the formal adoption of the Metal Gear program. That's what I heard anyway. Uh, sounds kind of fishy. So what do you think the terrorists want? Sorry, I'm not sure. I was captured with President Baker right after the revolt started. Oh yeah. That's when he gave you the detonation code override keys, right? That's right. Amazing you were able to keep them hidden from the guards. Well, women have more hiding places than men. Anyway, Wait, well, what's that supposed to mean? How's he holding up? He's dead. What? Heart attack. Same as the DARPA chief. The chief died from a heart attack too? Yeah. Was either of them sick or anything? No. Not that I heard of. Well, I don't believe in coincidences. Something funny's going on. Huh. Sounds like it. But I have no idea what. Me neither. Yet. Do you know the person who designed Metal Gear? You mean Dr. Emmerich? He should be in the research lab in the second floor basement of the nuclear warhead storage building to the north. Second floor basement? Yeah. That's where his lab is. I think they're forcing him to work on the nuclear launching program. So they'll need him alive until that's done anyway. Then we'd better do something before he finishes. You're right. In case we can't override the detonation code in time, I need to ask him how to destroy Metal Gear. You plan to take that thing on by yourself, Snake? It won't be the first time. How do we get to the nuclear warhead storage where the doctor's being held? There's a cargo door on the first floor of this building. Just gotta throw grenades at the legs. The security level of the door there. Five. But it's okay. I've got a level five card. Well, I've got to go save the doctor. You should go to the... I'm going with you. <gasps> no way. You're still too green. I want you to hide somewhere. I'm not green. No, You're you looking are. pretty green right now. You pause for just one second in front of your enemy, and it's all over. Good luck doesn't last forever. I don't know what happened. I just couldn't pull the trigger right away. I never had any problems in training. It was frightening to think that with a pull of a trigger, I could take someone's life. It's not like shooting targets in training. I always dreamed of being a soldier. 
every day of my life. I've trained my mind and body for the one day when I could finally see some real action. And now the Jimbo only makes the same game over and over. I can't quit. I can't allow myself to quit now. Listen, you're not normal if you don't feel something the first time you kill. Right, Mike? Guilt produces more carnage. Not normal. Mankind's worst emotions, worst traits emerge. It's easy to forget what a sin is in the middle of a battlefield. But this isn't a war. It's a terrorist action. You're just a little jumpy from the combat high. The adrenaline in your bloodstream is starting to thin out. Just take it easy. But I learned all about combat high at the academy. We'll talk about it later. For now, just think about keeping yourself alive. If I get out of here alive, I'll think about that other stuff. Okay. Let me try to say this another way. Stay the hell out of my way. <laughs> You're a real bastard. Just like my uncle said. Huh. I told you. The real me is no match for the legend. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Snake. I'll be a good girl. We'll link up after I grab the doctor. Hang on to the key until then. Doctor, Funniest joke I've ever seen. I know this area better than you. Call me if you have any questions. Yeah, I got questions. How to <laughs> get to the other building? After I open up the cargo door, I'll contact you. Oh. Meryl, I don't know what to do. Let's talk to Master. In war, a split second can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Don't ever hesitate. The slower you react, the greater the chance that you will be beaten. I'm screwed. Snake, don't be so impatient. Settle down. I need a little more time to get the cargo door open. I'll call you when I get the door open. Just wait a little, okay? What's up, Snake? Why did we put it on hard? I'm going to be so mad. Snake, have you ever heard the saying, friendly counsel cuts off many foes? It means that a little bit of advice from friends can save you a lot of trouble. You should think about it. If you're in trouble or if you need some information about something, please contact Colonel Campbell or someone else. Okay? Okay. Oh boy. Be this door, right? Oh, who's that? Who are you? I've got him. Send reinforcements. can peek. The cargo door oh, thank for you. you. I didn't want to skip that. God damn it. Let's die again. Hmm? Huh? Who's that? Ah! Ah! 
Blorg. Got the suppressor now. Down on the conversation. No. I got a plan. Who's that? I've got him. Set Over there? Do -do -do -do. All right, so our SOCOM can now have a suppressor. Have you played the whole series? I played one, two, three, well, one, Twin Snakes, two, three, four, Revengeance, Peace Walker. And that's it. I didn't play five. If I played portable ops, I might have. Acid, I have never played. Ghost Babel? Uh, nope, didn't play that one either. Acid is true rage bait. Uh, that's okay. I don't rage at video games. That's for babies. Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. What is it? You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. I'm pretty sure there were goggles somewhere. But since we don't have them... Smoking time. Gonna save it here. You called, Snake? 
call it there for tonight for Metal Gear Solid Twin Snakes. Hope you guys enjoyed it. We're going to take a small break. And then we'll segue into Might Magic 6 after the break, so stay tuned. In my parents' homeland, they say, if there are more wolves, the people are eaten. If there are more people, the wolves are eaten. That means the side with greater numbers is usually the winner. You're badly outnumbered, Snake. Try not to let them see you. 